Welcome back Interior Alaska. Joe Cook here with your Tuesday Sports. The Alaska Nanak Hockey Program will officially begin their season this coming Monday. Monday, September 22nd is the first team practice as UAF will enter their second year in the WCHA. Last season, the Nooks finished third with a 14-12-2 record in conference. 18 and 15 and 4 overall. UAF was eliminated in the quarterfinals of the WCHA playoffs by rival UAA in the best of three series. But it's a new year with new players, but the expectations are the same, improving every day. I spoke to head coach Dallas Ferguson yesterday about what he expects from a team that has seven seniors and seven freshmen joining the program this season. Part of our preparation right now in the preseason is, you know, enforcing good habits right now, um, things that are going to um, that are going to have to be a staple of our game throughout the course of the season. And, you know, next week when we get on the ice full time uh, with the entire team, then that's when we start implementing our our game plan and the systems that we want to use. But, you know, I told the guys, I mean, it's about getting better every day. Very seldom have you ever seen a team win all their games. Have you ever seen a team, you know, not deal with any type of adversity? And, and it comes in all shapes and forms when you're in athletics. And, um, you know, it's about getting better every day and staying focused in on what we need to do to be successful as a team. Well, another interior flag football game went down to the wire last night. The Hutchinson Hawks traveled to North Pole searching for their first win of the year. The Patriots lost back to back games coming in. North Pole breaks the 6 6 tie in the third quarter as freshman Caitlin Bartley scurries in on the far sideline for a touchdown. She was excited to say the least. Both teams traded fourth quarter interceptions, but after converting a fourth down with a heck of a catch from Katie Peterson, Veronica Yanish finds the end zone for Hutch. Peterson would get the one point conversion and Hutchinson led 13 to 12 with four minutes left. And they do have a running clock. Bartley and the Patriots got in the Hawks red zone and after two incomplete passes, third time to charm for Bartley who floats one over the defense into the hands of Lindsey Dammel. She does the rest scoring the winning touchdown with 51 seconds left. Heartbreak hotel again for Hutch as the Patriots win 18 to 13. Honestly, I didn't think I was going to catch the ball because two girls were guarding me, but I just jumped up and caught it and just ran as fast as I could. I think it was pretty awesome. I was really surprised because I didn't think she would catch the ball at first, but it was like a freaking miracle. <laughs> it was awesome, though. Um, our coaches just tell us to let each play go and just play each play like the best we can, and so we just kept going. And we knew it. we had to keep up and still compete and stuff. Interior high school tennis players came away with wins at the Alaska Invitational High School Tennis Tournament in Anchorage on Saturday. All of the interior teams were represented. West Valley's Jarrett Lees won twice, 8-7 over Diamond's Jaden Hodgden and 6-1 over Matt Stone of service. Cole Burner won in boys doubles match and a number two singles match for Lathrop. North Pole's Kevin Blanchard and Terrell LeMay defeated a Chugiak and East Anchorage duo in boys doubles. And Monroe's Madison Marlowe and Kaylee Royenhorst in girls doubles defeated Chugiak in East teams. Now, two Lathrop swimmers were a part of four races that ended mere seconds apart in Saturday's all-schools swim meet. Lathrop's Alex Sulemani was just four seconds faster than North Pole's Josh Handelin in the 200 and Tommy O'Donohue in the 500-yard freestyle. Sulemani had times of 1 minute 55 seconds and 513 in those races. He also was a part of the winning 400 freestyle relay team. Tommy O'Donohue, he reached the wall right before his little brother Tristan in the 50 free, 23.1 to 23.6 seconds. Roy's Mercer won the 50-yard freestyle in 27.81. North Pole's Alicia Graham was second, only in 28.8 seconds. Mercer and teammate Rachel Burkholz went 1-2 and two in the 100 breaststroke, just three seconds apart. High school teams will be back in the hammy this weekend for the third all-schools meet of the season. And we finish up with the results from a local run from over the weekend. Jesse Holmes led all runners in the third annual Troth Theater run for the Park 5K at UAF. Holmes finished in 19 minutes and 11 seconds, just 16 seconds faster than Tommy Dayhill. Gary Holton took third place, just under 20 minutes in 1955. Brandon Weinbarger was fourth place finisher in 2030. And Melissa Lewis came in at 20 minutes, 41 seconds for fifth place and was the first woman to finish. That's the top five from a field of 51 runners from Saturday's race. Don't forget about the big one, though. This Thursday and Friday are the big pickup days for Saturday's 52nd annual Equinox Marathon, which will feature the 22nd Marathon Relay, relay and 6 Ultra Marathon. Bit pickup is 5 to 8 Thursday and Friday at the Pump House Restaurant. And that's a wrap for sports. Your full weather forecast is coming up next, and we'll catch you next time.